you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Pull up, we bust, and not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much honey, my shooter. What's good, YouTube? My name's Clutch. We're back out with another video. Today's video, we got this new 65 badge power four build in NBA 2K21. Now, today, as you guys see by the title, we are covering the most badges you can get on a power four build. I already covered the most badges on a small forward point guard and a center so make sure you guys do check those videos out if you haven't already we still gotta do shooting guards so keep that in mind that will be my next video but today we're covering power forward so make sure you guys make it a power forward and this other stuff does not matter that's personal preface now moving on to skill breakdown with this build man now for the point guard and the center we did pick this pie chart right here finishing and shooting mostly shooting though for the power forward to get the maximum badges, you do have to pick this pie chart. So make sure you guys do pick it. It's a very nice pie chart, like I said. Now moving on to the physical profile with this build, man. Personally, I would recommend you pick all agility. I feel like this is just the best pie chart to pick for this build. Now if you want agility and vertical, maybe if you want some strength, go ahead and pick balance. Like I said, it's up to you. You don't have to do everything that I do. If you disagree with me, Go ahead and pick something else. Like I said, I'm gonna just pick all agility. Now moving on to action stat. Make sure you guys do it just like this. Seek it the maximum bad as possible. So you're gonna max out these first four stats just like that. Now, post hook, this is the first thing you are gonna max out. Put this two in, I think an 83. So you get 20 finishing bad. Now moving on to shooting, max out every single shooting stat, which will allow you to get 27 shooting bad. Now moving on to playmaking again. Max out every single playmaking stat, which will allow you to get 17 playmaking badges. Moving on to defense, max out perimeter, lateral, and now these last 23 upgrades, you aren't getting any defensive badges whatsoever. So if you want to put it on your steal, put it on your block, your rebound, or your interior defense, it's a power forward. So I'd probably put it on rebound is a good option, but I think I'm going to do interior defense. Any you guys can see, here's the build. You get 20 finishing, 27 shooting, 17 play making, and one defensive rebound. You can add that up. That's a total of 65 badges for this power forward build. Now it looks like power forwards actually did get some love this year from 2K. I remember in 2K20, the most badges you can get on a power forward was 59. In 2K21, you actually can get 65 badges on a power forward, which is absolutely insane. That's the exact same as a point guard. It looks right now, out of the builds I've done, the small forward gets the least amount of badges. I haven't covered shooting guard yet, but my guess, I think shooting guard's gonna be more than small forward. Like I said, I don't know yet because I haven't covered shooting guard. But yeah, now we're gonna straight into Sister Man. Body shape does not matter. Personally, I'm gonna just pick Burley. That's how I like my player looking. If you wanna pick something else, build, slight, whatever, go ahead. But I like my player being bulky, so I'm gonna just pick Burley. Moving on to how it's built. Personally, I would either make the build six foot nine or six foot eight. Personally, I think six foot eight, you gain a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go six foot eight. If you want six nine or taller, go ahead. But like I said, I think six eight is a really good in between balance. Moving on to weight with this build. Personally, I'm gonna just put the weight down to 230 pounds. That's it, just two pounds below default, just to get a 75 speed, a little bit better perimeter defense, but you aren't losing anything. So 230, you're still pretty big. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna recommend you do. Moving on to wingspan on this build. Now you do have 27 shooting badges, so keep that in mind. You're getting Hall of Fame badges, so honestly, if you want to max your wingspan out, you're still gonna be able to shoot pretty good. But personally, I think I'm gonna leave the wingspan at 85 inches. As you guys know, when you hit 99 over, I get a plus four to all your attributes. You're going to have an 83 mid range and an 80 three point shot at 99 overall. That is absolutely insane. I'm telling you guys, having medium wingspan, you still got good defense. You're not really compensating for defense but it's not affecting your shooting or any of your other stats. Plus this build is getting big man contact dunks off rip. The requirements for big man contact dunks is at least a 50 driving dunk and a 75 standing dunk. As you guys see, we meet those requirements and you also have to be a power forward or center. We're power forward, so we're getting big man contact dunks off rip. Very nice. I'm recommending you put your wingspan 85 inches. Moving on to takeovers is Bill Man. Now you do get pretty good options here. Post score. Now you do have some pretty good post scoring stats. You do have a 93 post fade, which is very nice. And you do have a pretty good post hook. So post or post score takeover is not that bad of an option if you do want it. Sharpshooter is also another good option. This is kind of hard, honestly. I feel like if you do pick the post score, you might as well pick the bounce pie chart just to give yourself a little bit better strength. 
like I said, it's up to you. I'm not really sure. Pulse Core is a good option, but Sharpshooter is another good option. For me, I think I would go with Sharpshooter personally. Like I said, if you want Pulse Core, it's a pretty good option, but I'm going to just pick Sharpshooter. Any eyes to see? Here's the build. You have built a interior finisher, shades of Danilo Gallinari, Bojan Bogdanovic, and Kevin Love. Very nice build, 65 badges. Now we're gonna get straight into the best badges for this build. If you guys do watch this video, make sure you guys do the like button, subscribe, put the sub count real quick. You guys can see 61,700 subs. We're 300 subs away from 62K subs. You watch this video now. If you like to see, make sure you guys do the subscribe and turn on notifications. Now we're gonna get straight into the best badges for this build. Put this 99 overall real quick. Let me take the sub count off, give me a minute. Now you guys can see 20 finishing badges. Like I told you guys, man, this build is getting big man contact dunks off rip. So you definitely want contact finisher. I would say you definitely want Lob City finisher. People will be throwing you alley-oops with this build. You definitely want that badge. 14 upgrades left. You definitely want Slayer finisher. In my opinion, you could use Giant Slayer because you are only six foot eight. This badge will come in handy against defenders that are five inches taller than you. So meaning defenders that are seven foot one and taller, you still will run to big center. So it is an option if you want it. Personally, I think I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna do gold, relentless finisher, eight upgrades left, fancy fork, I'm gonna do gold, five upgrades left. Now, like I said, this build is pretty good when it comes to doing post scoring moves. So you could throw on your deep post. I think I'm gonna throw on deep post just cause you do have an 83 post hook. I feel like you might as well take advantage of that. Now, two upgrades left, do whatever you wanna do for this. I think you could do back down punisher, like I said, especially if you pick playmaker or post score, sorry. If you pick post score takeover, having back down punisher will be very nice. Also drop stepper, also another good option. Like I said, do whatever you want to do for this. I think personally, I'm going to just do consistent finisher. This is what I'm going to do personally. Like I said, change your badges up. Do whatever you want to do if you disagree with my choosing. Moving on to shooting badges. Boom, we have 27 shooting badges. You definitely want your rain extender. You definitely want your hot zone hunter. Deep fades. We have a 93 post fade. Definitely take advantage of that deep fades. Throw it on Hall of Fame. It's going to be very nice. You definitely want your green machine on Hall of Fame. I would say throw on Hall of Fame volume shooter. Catch and shoot. I think I'm going to throw this badge on. Four upgrades. Oh, I'm going to do gold catch and shoot. Now, four upgrades left. You could do difficult shots. Dead eye. Here's a good combination. Maybe silver dead eye and maybe silver difficult shots. That's actually not bad. Or maybe instead of difficult shots, maybe do hot start. It depends how you're planning on using the build. You know, thinking about it, I think I'm going to do this combination right here. I feel like these are the best shooting badges for this build. Like I said, you want some other badges? Change your badges up. Do whatever you want to do. Moving on to playmaking badges, but we have 17 playmaking badges. This build will not be able to speed boost, but it does have a 67 ball handle off rip, meaning so 70 ball handle, you will be able to get 70 ball handle at 98 overall. And like I said, no speed boosting, but you still got decent ball handling skills. So I'll throw on probably unpluckable. Definitely want quick first steps to help you dribble a lot better. Bailout, I think I'm gonna throw this badge on gold. Now, since we did make the build of power forward, you don't get too many good playmaking and badges to help you dribble. Tight handles, you could throw this badge on. Now, if you want to be more of a post score, go ahead and throw in your dream shake and post spin technician, especially if you pick playmaker takeover. It's gonna be pretty nice for this build. I think I'm gonna throw on tight handles. Five upgrades left. I think I'm gonna get one of these post score badges in. So I think personally, I'm gonna throw on Dream Shake and two upgrades left. I think I'm gonna throw on Needle Threader, maybe Break Star. That's also another good option, but I'm gonna throw on Needle Threader. This is what I'm gonna do for playmaking badges. Moving on to defensive badges, but we have one defensive badge. We do have max primer defense, max lateral quickness, and pretty much almost max interior defense. So this is up to you. Usually I would do clans, but this is a power force. So you're probably not gonna be running as the point guard on the 2v2 court. You might be, because this build can score pretty good, but it depends how you're using the build. You could do clans, you could do intimidator, maybe rebound chaser. Honestly, it's up to you how you're planning on using the build, like I said. I think for this, I'm gonna just do intimidator. Like I said, you want some of the badge, change your badges up. It's only one defensive badge, either do intimidator or clamps, whatever you want to do. But that's pretty much it, man. That's the new 65 badge power four build in NBA 2K21. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, man, make sure you guys do the like button, subscribe. Like I told you guys, man, we already covered the most badges on a point guard small forward and a center we just did power forwards all i have left to go is the shooting guard so make sure you guys do stay tuned if you guys do like the series make sure you guys do give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button turn on notifications but that's pretty much it man i hope you guys enjoy this video until next time clutch out i'm feeling your energy and shorty man she really enemy i got lots of enemies and they wanna act like they friends with me